The latest storm strike toppled even more trees and left some people's property in pieces. We now know at least three tornadoes are responsible for wreaking havoc in Minnesota last night. The strongest touched down north of the Twin Cities in Anoka and Isanti counties. One hit just southeast of Isanti, the other just north of Andover. Our Uba Ali shows us the damage done. I hope I never see anything like this again in my life. From above, you can see the widespread destruction southeast of Isanti. <laughs> and 25 minutes south, near Andover. And the whole forest came down around us. James Hauser and his team were racing to escape a tornado. <gasps> we had three of us that were pointing out trees as they were falling as we were running for the open field. Strong winds snapped trees. It was just devastation, you know, and it happened within a split second. And sent some toppling over onto this home. And it was was really loud and it was it was scary. Smashing in part of Linda Siegler's ceiling in her bedroom. The rug was soaked, so we took those out. There's rugs on either side. Uh, the water was all underneath the bed and running across here. Thankfully, the roof didn't come down, but the rain did. <laughs> A mess Hauser was back out helping clear for residents like Siegler. It's just hectic out here. A chainsaw in hand, they got to work, chopping up trees before loading them into trucks and clearing the street. For a neighborhood with one way in and out. Oh, very grateful. Uba Ali, WCCO News. New in just the last few hours, a third tornado confirmed, this one southeast of the Twin Cities in Dakota County. The National Weather Service shared this picture of trees down at Hidden Greens Golf Course south of Hastings. It was an EF0, but experts are still gathering more information. The National Weather Service also has a team investigating in western Wisconsin. Now, we showed you this video last night from traffic cameras along I-94 near Wilson. It is not clear yet whether that was a tornado, but there were reports of one in that area at the time. There are also two other reports of tornadoes closer to the Minnesota border.